Good morning guys. We are kicking today's vlog off a little bit different. I'm absolutely beat right now because I'm at the skate park as you can see. As you may know, I have a mini ramp in my garage. But this mini ramp here, it's at least two times bigger than the one I have. So decided to come here, hit it up early in the morning. And it's been quite a challenge to try and learn the tricks I already know on my mini ramp on this thing just because of how much bigger it is. I get legit afraid to actually do the stuff that I'm really confident doing, like just like simple stuff. So I'm just trying to conquer my fears right now. Good morning, guys. I'm just getting prepared for a webinar that I have to do later today at two o'clock. And this webinar is an affiliate webinar. It's with a friend of mine. His name is Neil. And basically the way it works is Neil introduces me to a bunch of his customers. I introduce them to my software and then we get a bunch of new people into the software. So it's kind of cool because it's an opportunity to just get introduced to a bunch of new people and they get introduced to me. And it's just a win-win all the way around. I got a call yesterday from the motorcycle shop. They're actually working on my ATV. The battery regulator went bad in it and it took forever to get it actually repaired because I guess there's a major like shortage in parts and stuff all around the world. So yeah, it took a while to get the part in, but it's in, it's on the ATV, they fixed it, it was a battery regulator, and I've gotta go pick that up today as well. Just in time for winter so that I'm able to plow the driveway because that's mostly what I use it for. All right, so got the ATV, well, got it in motion. I'm at the service uh, department right now, so they're bringing it out. They said they detailed it, so I'm excited to see what it looks like. Um, I bet it'll look really nice, because it was pretty dirty. All right, we're loaded up. It's time to head back, and uh, I gotta get on this webinar in an hour, so I gotta get prepared. <laughs> it's all cleaned up really nice. This is the rack I got installed. My little nephews come over and they ride on it. So I figured this would be a lot more safe in case they fall. Well, I'm happy that everything turned out really nice with that. It's running again, so that's a relief because I wasn't really sure what was wrong with it when I took it in. It just wasn't running properly. And basically after running for about five minutes, it would just totally stall out. So I guess that was the uh, regulator, the battery regulator that was controlling that. So I do have to pull it in the garage, but I don't have time to do that right now because my webinar is starting soon. So I'm gonna have to go in and start preparing for that so that we can give a good presentation. We're using a uh, double computer setup for this one. These are just double monitors, not two computers. But I'm using a laptop for this one because I'm gonna need it to monitor the chat box during the webinar. So unfortunately, the iPad won't run GoToWebinar software. So that's where the laptop comes in. So we can monitor the chat box. Oh 
All right, so we are about 40 minutes from showtime. This is how I've got my uh, main presenter computer set up. So basically, I've got my slides pulled up, which is specific to this company that is promoting it. And then I've also got a sample website pulled up because what I'm gonna do on the presentation is actually show them what it looks like to actually build a completed lead generation website. Then I'll run through and show them like how to actually set it up and what the different parts of a WordPress website look like. And then this will be the screen that I'm actually presenting on so they'll see everything here. I'll drag it over from this window to this window when I want them to see it. And then this computer will be used to monitor the chat box during the entire presentation. It's a pretty straightforward process. You could do it with a lot less screens, but it definitely does make it easier, especially when I'm doing these pretty often. I just have a system that seems to work out really well and provides a good viewing experience for the person on the other end of the computer watching the webinar. Hey, what's going on, you? Yeah. Oh, nice, how did that go? Yeah, that sounds cool. All right, guys, so I just finished up the webinar. We had a little bit of technical glitches during it. Uh, like, link's not working, and that doesn't happen very often, but one of those days, it's unfortunate when it happens when it's an affiliate. Luckily, we got some backup links, so we got it working. Now I just have to uh, pull the ATV into the garage, and I have to make a little bit of room for it. The idea is for it to go right here along the side of the half pipe. But I'm gonna have to move these bikes out of the way and the e-bike out of the way. This thing is fun. I'll have to show you a video of this sometime soon. It does like 55 miles per hour. Oh, such a tight fit, but we made it work. Now I just gotta find a spot to put this and that. I really hope the garage door will close. That is a tight fit. It's like almost touching the sensor. All right guys, I think we're gonna wrap up this vlog right here. Thank you so much for watching. I'll see you in another video until next time.